Happy Friday, Gators. Today is the 12th of June, 2020. I'm Mr. Duschel, and it is the final farewell edition of the morning announcements with the fifth grade team. I had to say it slowly in case it was a tongue twister. And I'm super excited that they're here. We're going to start off with Miss Kern. Good morning, Miss Kern. Good morning, Mr. Duschel. I'm joining you from Rockville this morning, Gators. Thanks for being here. Next, we have Miss Green. Hi, Gators. I'm joining you from Durwood, Maryland, which is like two miles from the school. Next, we have Miss Kreisig. Good morning, College Gardens. I'm joining you from Montgomery Village. Thank you. And Miss Wu. Good morning, Gators. I'm joining today from Germantown, Maryland. And last but not least, it's the wonderful Miss Harris. Good morning, Gators. I am coming from Frederick, Maryland, and as M Mr. Duschel would say, way out in the country. Thank you for being here, even from way out in the country. Let's start off with birthdays. Ms. Kern, do we have any birthdays at College Gardens today? Mr. Duschel, we do. We have two amazing birthdays today. Today, Sammy S. in Miss Avery's class has a birthday. And Calvin S. in Mrs. Taylor's class has a birthday. Happy birthday, Gators. Happy birthday to those two. But let's talk about the fifth grade and the fifth grade year. It couldn't happen without the amazing fifth grade teachers that you're looking at on the slides. It started off at the beginning during teacher pre-service week. Thank you all for being amazing teachers and helping our fifth graders be ready for middle school. Tell us about some of the things that happened this year. Ms. Wu, start us off. All right, to kick it off, here are some posters from my class on the unit, how we organize ourselves. So they collaborated in groups to develop their own organizations to promote justice on a global issue, kind of like a sneak peek for exhibition already. So examples of some topics were animal extinction, water pollution, and poverty. So groups came up with unique names, as you can see on the posters for their organizations, gave some background on the issue and shared how we can take responsibility and take action to show justice. It was a great way to start the year. Tell us more, Ms. Kern. Well, I wanted to highlight some of the moments and adjectives that described my students. And we were really reflective this year. And one way that my students in particular were reflective was during our trip to the museum. In the fall, we got to see portions of the Berlin Wall up close, and it really caused us to be really globally minded this year during school. Something else that was true about all the fifth graders this year was you all were so creative. I have a picture here from one of my students that made puppets for one of our presentations. So they definitely had that creative spirit and another thing that I really enjoyed was the collaboration. On the right, you will see we built bridges this year and our students were given supplies and they had a budget and they had to work together to build a bridge that would span the Chesapeake Bay. We had so much fun doing all of these projects and I'm so proud of all the ways that our students were globally minded great IB students this year. Thank you for sharing. How lucky that they were able to go to the museum before it sadly closed. Tell us about the next thing, Ms. Green. Speaking of globally minded, Miss um, Green's class, I was very uh, much taken aback by your willingness to show action. First, you found an organization that we could participate in for a short amount of time where we collected bottle tops and um, through the lunches and we collected the tabs from breads uh, containers and what I found most was that this project started off as something very simple where we advertise and we research but then we had some little hiccups along the way but that did not stop you first thing as you can see in the second picture we had to wash all the tops because there was milk in there and it started to smell really bad the final big issue after we collected over 16 pounds of plastic tops and tabs was 
we could not mail it to South Africa, which was where the organization was located. So I put a call out on Facebook and just happened to be that my neighbor was traveling to South Africa. So that third picture there is a suitcase filled to the brim with all of the uh, caps from the students at College Gardens and that brought them in. And the fourth picture is a woman that I met from the organization that met my friend at the airport to pick up this. So we persevered. This was student driven action. And I'm so excited to make sure that you guys know that it got to the organization. And in case you guys forgot, those helped give a wheelchair to someone in need. Thank you for sharing that amazing work, Ms. Green. What else did we learn this year, Ms. Kreisig? Fifth grade is a year of exciting experiences, and this year certainly speaks to that. I'd like to share just a few that students engaged in. One of the favorites was designing a tea crate to survive the Boston Tea Party and how we organize ourselves. Students recognized the importance of collaboration and created vessels of all designs. Students also explored economics as they engaged in a game to solve the national debt created by the Revolutionary War. They discovered the importance of a budget when engineering their bridges and how the world works and had a lot of fun wheeling and dealing with other contractors and engineers to trade materials, outbid other contractors, and solve economic setbacks when all didn't go as planned. Together, Getting together with our kindergarten buddies was another favorite. Whether it was exploring technology or reading stories together in the courtyard, students look forward to meeting with their pals. In how we express ourselves, students in Ms. Barrett's kindergarten and my class collaborated on a mural where everyone created art to express the cultures of all students. And then there's Dolly. Cloning was a topic passionately debated in who we are, and fifth graders realized that issues do not have simple solutions. There are pros and cons and many perspectives regarding issues like GMOs, space trash, cloning, and the use of technology. Speaking of technology, a favorite reward in fifth grade is Technology Day. Students engaged in lessons all day using many different forms of technology. Little did we know that every day would soon be a technology day. Where we are in place and time found us in school one day and virtually learning the next. COVID-19 brought attention to the fact that we truly are one humankind sharing the planet. And by working together worldwide and taking action, we can bring about change. Exhibition celebrated just that this year as our wonderful fifth graders collaborated virtually with other students, mentors, and community members. This will certainly be a year to remember. And don't forget my motto, learn something new every single day of your life. Thank you for that reflection, Ms. Kreisig. I also say the same, learn something new each day, Gators. Ms. Harris, what else should we know about this school year? Well, first of all, I want to say how proud we all are of our fifth grade students and how far you've come throughout the year. I especially want to give a shout out to my class, who's taught me so much all this year, and learning has been fun with them. One thing that I want to talk to you about is how our students worked on engineering design challenges. My favorite memory was the room designing. I was so impressed with the way my class worked together, no matter who they were working with. They cooperated with their classmates. They showed respect and listened to others' ideas. You, my fifth grade class, creatively created a classroom environment that helped everyone be the best learner possible. I have such hope for the future, knowing you'll be our leaders. Finally, be kind, open-minded, and show perseverance. Oh, one last thing, actually. Remember to stay balanced. Don't forget our class motto. Don't stress. Thanks for the best year ever. Thank you for those memories, Ms. Harris. 
<laughs> the fifth grade year ends with something very special. The International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program Exhibition. It is the culminating experience before our Gators leave us to go on to middle school. Can you tell us about some people that deserve a special shout out, Ms. Kern? Absolutely, Mr. Duschel. We would like to give a shout out and a virtual BIB sticker to every single one of our mentors who helped our students along this journey. It was definitely a different experience this year, but we appreciate every person from the official mentors to those that were unofficial to all the parents and siblings that helped each one of our students produce such a great exhibition project this year. So thank you, mentors. Thank you, yes, and we definitely had to think differently this year doing exhibition during distance learning. Thank you to those mentors and everyone that helped. Ms. Green, who deserves the biggest shout out for exhibition? I think the fifth grade team and I all agree that the biggest shout out goes to our fifth graders. Boy, did you persevere and show that through this distance learning, you could collaborate in very creative ways. And one thing that I'd like to specifically say is how patient you guys were with the fifth grade team as we too were navigating this brand new way to share out. You were amazing risk takers. I know it was difficult to collaborate with students from other classes where you couldn't actually be with them. You had to use technology to help get you there. But in the end, I can't wait for everyone to be able to see what you have produced. And I can tell you that we have taken a look and your, the products are amazing. But what's more important is the process getting there. You demonstrated that you could stay committed to your task even when challenges rose. And we are so proud of you. I absolutely agree, Ms. Green. Our fifth graders rose to the challenge and they stuck with it through the process, and that's important. And that's a process that will help them in the future. And we're gonna post all those products in our fifth grade course, so they'll be able to take a look at the work that each of them have done. I could not move on without saying that you fifth grade teachers played a key role in making this happen. Thank you so much for your work. I know it takes a lot of time and energy. You were great communicators, you were extremely knowledgeable, and you were inquirers about all the different topics that our students were looking into during exhibition. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for an amazing year. I love the fifth grade experience, and each of you really made it happen, and I appreciate it so much. But that brings us to the end of this morning announcements. Ms. Kreisig, can you send us away for today? All right, College Garden Gators, the fifth grade team wants everyone to have a fabulous, fantastic, fancy, fascinating, fun final Friday. We'll miss you guys so much. Hello. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure to hit the bell button to receive future updates.